Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Mtobi Sumshomo, the Maths and Physical Science Tutor. And today we're looking at the Mpumalanga Physical Science Grade 11 question paper. And the question we're going to be looking at is question 10, which is electric circuit. Now in question 10, they've given us a battery um which has negligible in internal resistance and an emf of 20 voltages now before i start let us start by looking at this if we take a look at this path you have current moving from here and when it comes to this side it's going to change and disperse to this direction all the way and it goes and it goes and it combines here then it comes and it passes that's current and if the switch is closed the current is going to flow all the way pass through here and that's a complete circuit right that's just how the flow of the current will be going now we have here these two resistor r and resistor 3 are both parallel and parallel resistors have the same voltage as per um, your notes or as per how they are arranged they have the same voltage but they have a different current if they have a different um, resistance so we don't know what resistor R is all about now first things first they've given us a total voltage which is our EMF so V total is the same as EMF uh, EMF is equal to the V total which is equal to I total and R total. You can call it R total or R external. It's up to us because now we don't have internal resistance, so we can call it R total. So this means that 20 volts is equal to um, I total R total. Let's get back to the question. They say they're reading on the ammeter. The ammeter is the one with A over there. Is 4 amperes now this means that we have what total current because current passing at any point from where I've shown you with the yellow highlight will be 4 amperes except for when it splits between R and the resistor with 3 ohm okay now this means that we have 20 is equals to 4 R total or R external and here we're going to divide by four both sides and then we get that R total is equal to 5 ohms okay next up let's check what is the next question the reading in the V1 resistor V1 resistor now the current is or the voltage gets split up you have voltage that is in that parallel side here and then voltage that is in that V2 which is the 3.2 ohm um, resistor now if we have a look the current passing there I'm just gonna redraw it to just make so that I don't keep on going back we have current passing here which is um, 4 amperes at a 3 point uh, is it 3.2 ohm resistor so it means we can calculate voltage here so by V is equals to I R why are we calculating the voltage you will see now we have 4 times 3.2 which gives us 12.8 volts now this 
circuit goes on and on to this parallel r parallel right and then to the switch here which means there is voltage being dispersed here which is this one and then there is voltage which we don't know here but if we take v1 plus v2 we get the total voltage right so the v2 we've already calculated v total we already know so v1 is equal to v total minus v2 which is 20 minus the 12.8 and then we get something like a 7.2 volts now we did say that in the parallel here where it says r and uh, a 3 ohm um let me just quickly go back so that so if you can see in that pet uh part of pattern in that part the voltage here is the same that is being dispersed on these two the voltage here is the same because you can see that it's connected here the voltage is really the same volt for these two parallel which is our v1 here so it means um our v1 okay we've already calculated v1 now i was about to skip to calculating r okay let's go back we've already calculated v1 now they want us to calculate the resistance r we know but well, we have calculated that r total which is made up of the r parallel plus the r of 3.2 ohm r total we got that it's 5 which is equals to the r parallel plus 3.2 ohm and then r parallel is equals to 1.8 is it a 1.8 yes 1.8 watt ohm but how is that r parallel calculated r parallel is 1 over r parallel or rp is equal to 1 over r 1 plus 1 over r 2 now let's put it into terms this is 1 over 1.8 equals to 1 over the resistor r plus 1 over our resistor that has three ohms now we take one over r to be equal to one over 1.8 minus one over three and then one over r is equal to two over nine then we can do cross multiplication or we just do the inverse and when we do that we get that our resistor r is equal to a 9 over 2 which is equal to 4.5 ohms so we've calculated in 10.3 10.4 wants us to calculate the current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor now in the 3 ohm resistor what do we have we have the voltage voltage is 7.2 right so 10.4 voltage is 7.2 V the resistance is 3 ohm so I we're looking for it we go to V is equals to IR we want I is equals to V over R and therefore we're going to say 7.2 divided by uh, that looks like an integer over 3 which is equals to 2.4 amperes right now in 10.5 we want the power dissipated 
by the 3.2 ohm resistor. We know the current there at the 3.2, it's 4. And there's three ways basically in order to calculate. So 10.5, you can say P is equals to, you know the voltage, you know the current. Let me calculate that as 12.8, which we calculated in the beginning. Multiply by 4, and we get 51.2 watts. Or, you can also calculate it by P is equals to um, I squared R. Because you know the current is 4 squared and the resistor is a 3.2 ohms resistor and that you get your 51.2 watts. Also you can say P is equal to V squared over R of which is equal to um, the voltage which is 12.8 and that squared divided by the resistor of 3.2 you get 51.2 watts. Lastly, um, if they remove this 3 or oh, the resistor R, which means now we're going to be left with the 3 ohm, and then we have our 3.2 ohm resistor. So let's withdraw because, in most cases, they must not understand what is happening there. Okay, we have this now we've removed the resistor R, we have the 3 ohm. Then we have our ammeter here. Then we have, I'll jump the switch, 3.2 ohm. Then we have our cells here. Now, you have moved from having a R external, which was 5. So now your R external will become what? 6.2. Your V total is still the same. V total is still the same, right? So let's look at the relationship between R is equals to V over I. The question is asking us what will happen to the ammeter. The ammeter and the resistance, they have an, a relationship that is inversely proportional, which means if you look at I equals to V over R. The increase in R results in a decrease in I. So the answer would be what? A decrease. Ugh, why am I writing like this? So the answer would be what? A decrease. You have in, increased the resistance, so it decreases the ability of what of the current passing through the whole circuit, basically. Because you can see, we now have 6.2 ohm. If you were supposed to explain, but this is just one mark, so your answer would just be decreased. But if you were to have to explain, the explanation is that the, the, the removal of, of resistor R now increases the resistance and if the resistance increases then the current decreases because that's the current that will pass it through basically you have it's like blocking a water pipe but um we'll clear that when we do another lesson and thank you for watching and please subscribe and share the link see you soon with another video thank you